Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Good morning, Clackamas River Chinooks. We are so excited to have another Thursday with you to bring you our updates from Clackamas River. Yes, we are, Miss Anderson. And just a reminder, everybody, we are looking for students that are showing empathy, okay? And empathy is understand different perspectives and care about the well-being of each other and those that we serve. So this month is that month of empathy. All right, Chinooks, we also have read days coming up. We have one tomorrow on the 10th and again on the 17th. So make sure you are looking for those invitations. The earlier we know if you're coming or not, the better chance it gives us to make sure we plan accordingly. Then on the 24th, there's no school. Oh, that man. is a grading day, the day before we go into our spring break. And then also, Miss Anderson, we have our PTO meeting coming up, which is on the 22nd. So families, uh, please show up to that. We want as many families involved to get your voice into what we're doing at school and what events we have coming up. So that's going to be really important to be at. Another thing, we just wanted to send out a big thank you to all of you that were able to attend our curriculum night. We had a ton of families here. Um, they were all here celebrating some really creative work done by teachers. So we appreciate you coming um, and being part of that with us. And I really enjoyed looking at the marshmallow catapult. I think that was a hit done by our uh, second grade team. So that was a lot of fun to see those being shot through the air. Uh, next thing coming up, March 16th, we have made it through 100 days of school. So to celebrate that, we will all be dressing up like we are 100 years old. And I know you don't think that some of us are that far from 100, but we really are. So we're <laughs> going to get creative and we'll see what we can bring on March 16th. And a friendly reminder, the school store, which is where people are bringing those packets in and you're getting those little uh, creatures and animals to, to snap onto your arm, uh, that ends on uh, March 23rd. So that's coming up pretty soon. So we'll be stopping that, but congratulations and thank you to everybody that's been participating in that. Yeah, that is our big fundraiser. That is really the only one that we do for the school. Uh, and that is how we buy all those school supplies and keep the cost for families at the beginning of the year down as much as we can. Um, also exciting, spring break is Ooh. right around the corner. So the official start date of spring break is the 27th through the 31st. Please do not come to the school or be waiting for the bus because it will not be there. Yes, and then right after spring break, we have conferences, and that's on uh, April 3rd and April 4th, where you will get to connect with your teacher and see all of the amazing work that your student has been doing uh, these past few months in the school year. Um, and we'll be sending out more updates and details on what that specific schedule looks like. Yeah, and during that time, we also have the book fair. So that'll be a fun way to take your family in and get something extra for you to be reading at home. Um, and Miss Anderson, yeah. in, I say, a month in that April time, at the very end, but we want to let families know now, we have Kindergarten Connect coming up, which is on 427. Uh, so families that have uh, incoming kindergartners, you get to take a look at what Clackamas River does at school for kindergartners. And so you get to, I say, come in and check out the building, meet the teachers, meet staff. Um, it's a great time to connect and uh, ask any questions that you might have. Mm -hmm. And that is for anybody who will be five before the end of August. So if you have a kiddo at home or have a brother or sister, or maybe a cousin that you know live in this area, that is a great time to get them here. Remember, the sooner our kindergartners are registered, uh, the better it is for our staffing. So we can make sure that we have high quality teachers teaching our students every day like the ones we have here now. All right, Miss right. <clears throat> Anderson, we have trivia. I have Joseph in third grade, Ms. Cressick's room. Nice work today, Joseph. And then Addison in Miss Woods' fourth grade. Excellent job to both of you. You guys can come up when it is a good time for your teacher to get your prize. How about in the younger grade, Scott? Parker in Miss Munn's class. Parker, your teacher will let you know when it's a good time to get your prize. 
And last but not least, Damon in Miss Hilt's class. Excellent work, guys. Thank you for taking the time and turning your brains on high so that you could do our trivia this week. Congratulations. And for next week, we don't have any trivia. We'll restart that coming up in a few weeks. All right, Miss Anderson, it's time for those golden winners. And what an exciting week it's been. Uh, for our golden plunger, we have our kinder and first grade boys and girls. Wow. Both of you all have been doing an amazing job keeping those bathrooms nice and clean. So thank you for doing that. Um, and Miss Anderson, it looks like this week, um, our youngers in our building, our mm -hmm. kinders and first graders have really stolen the show because that golden tray is going to our kindergartners. So congratulations, kinders, for showing those expectations in the cafeteria. Congratulations, we're super excited that you have won that golden tray. Yeah, and on that same note, the golden backpack going to that first grade team. So we have been walking through the pods quite a bit these last couple weeks, noticing that some of us are still just dropping our stuff on the floor. Uh, people could trip over it, they could damage your stuff, or hurt somebody. So please make sure that you are putting it on your hooks or in your cubby all the way. First grade, excellent job on keeping your space clean. All right. And then, Miss Anderson, here's my challenge to everybody uh, these, this next, uh, finishing up this week and next week. When you're walking in and out of the pod and if you see something on the floor, backpack, coat, go ahead and pick it up. If it doesn't belong to you, pick it up, hang it up, put it in a cubby, find it a home so it's not on the floor. So that's a challenge for everybody trying to help our community make it cleaner, okay? And really quickly, we need to head into the library uh, I'm looking for Mrs. T, um, and she left a mystery. So let's head on to that library really quickly to find that hidden package. Hello, Chinooks. We are here in the library, and the book fairy has been watching all of you do an awesome job right here. Mrs. T, it's that time. Who won that golden book? Oh, and we're back. Look, we have our golden... Uh, book award let's see drum roll who won that this week <gasps> uh oh how very book fairy <gasps> whoa let's see who won that Wah! mrs johnson's class congratulations nice work we are super excited so mrs johnson's class won that golden book and there's another note. Ooh. It says, for Mr. Wolf's eyes. I wonder what this could be. Oh, it's actually from the book fairy. And I believe this has to do something with our, the book challenge for our fifth graders to see who won or read the most chapters. So let's take a look. Whoops. Oh dear. Oh dear. Here we go. That book fairy is really good. She loves the glue and the glitter. You got some glitter. Oh, oh my goodness. There's glitter all over and our winners are Miss Holsey's class. Congratulations. Oh, whoa, and on the back, it says with almost 3,000 pages. Wow. wow. Nice Congratulations. Good job, fifth graders and Miss Holsey's class. I would love to know how many pages did all three classes read together. We might have to track down that book. Fairy. We, yeah, we will. And she does have that data, so we will check that out when she is back. Awesome. All right, let's talk about birthdays. Birthdays. Happy birthday to you. All right, we've got a few this week. We have Wyatt in his Crescent class, Sophia in Miss O'Connor's. Rylan and Miss Hills, Kira and Miss Sherman, Parker and Miss Munns, Natalyn and Miss Weller, Ryder and Miss Munns, and Mia and Mrs. Rutherford. Happy birthday to all of you. We hope it's a very special day for you. Happy, happy birthday. All right, let's go ahead and stand up for that Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, 
indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we hope you have a wonderful weekend. We hope there's no snow involved, and we will see you back here on Monday.